In this question, we are asked to evaluate the given infinite sum. To do that, we are going to rewrite this first as uh, 1 over 2n minus 3 times 2n plus 3, where n is running from 1 to infinity. And then we will split this fraction into a difference of two fractions. We'll rewrite this as 1 over 2n minus 3 minus 1 over 2n plus 3. Now uh, let's check uh, our calculations. If we bring this to the common denominator, we're going to get uh, 2n plus 3 in the first fraction, and we will have to multiply the second fraction by 2n minus 3. And when we subtract them, we are going to get 6 in the numerator, right? However, in the original fraction, we have 1 in the numerator. So we have to divide this whole thing by 1 over 6. Now, uh, let's write the first few partial sums uh, for this series. So the first partial sum is going to be... Uh, so we just need to plug in n equals 1, right? Let's just ignore 1 over 6 for for, a moment, for now. Let's uh, take 1 over 6 outside. Now we are focused on the expression inside the sum. So S1 is going to be uh, 1 over... When we plug in n equals 1, we are going to get 1 over minus 1 minus 1 over 5, it's going to be S1. Now S2 is going to be the sum of the first two terms. The first term is still like uh, minus 1 minus 1 over 5, plus the second term is going to be 1 over, uh, now 4 minus 3 is 1, minus, when we plug in 2, we are going to get 1 over 4 plus 3, which is going to be 1 over 7. Now let's go to the next partial sum. So basically what we're trying to do here, we're trying to figure out the pattern. Pattern. Um, the third partial sum is going to be minus 1 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 1 minus 1 over 7 plus, now let's plug in n equals 3. We're going to get 1 third minus 1 or 9 now let's see so we still have no cancellations now let's try s4 for s4 we're going to get minus 1 minus 1 over 5 plus um, 1 minus 1 over 7 plus 1 third minus 1 over 9 plus uh, the next, but we need to plug in n equals 4 to get uh, 1 over 5 minus 1 over 11. So still no cancellations here yet. Oh, actually we have our first cancellation. We can cancel minus 1 over 5 and 1 over 5. Well, we can also cancel minus 1 and 1, right? Now, for, uh, now let's solidify this pattern. For S5, we're going to get minus 1 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 minus 1 over 7 plus uh, 1 third minus 1 over 9th plus 1 fifth minus 1 over 11 plus uh, 1 over 7 minus 1 over 13 so here we can cancel minus 1 and 1 minus 1 fifth 1 fifth minus 1 seventh 1 seventh so in the remaining terms are 1 third minus 1 over 9 
minus 1 over 11, minus 1 over 13, right? Let's find a 6. Now let's see what we can cancel here. As in the previous parts, we're going to cancel all these terms. We're going to cancel one fifth. We're going to cancel one seventh. Now we're, we can also cancel uh, minus uh, one ninth and one ninth here. Now it seems like we're getting a pattern here. And it seems like we're not able to cancel one third. Let's go for a 7. <clears throat> so we'll do this until we find the pattern. Okay, so I think now we have the pattern. In the nth partial sums uh, bigger than n equals 5, for n bigger than 5, uh, one third is always remaining in the partial sum. We can't really cancel it, right? Because we don't have any one thirds in, uh, in anywhere in the sum with a negative sign. And the last uh, three terms, last three bigger negative terms are also remaining in the sum. So in S6, we have minus 1 over 11, minus 1 over 13, minus 1 over 15. In S7, we have minus 1 over 13, minus 1 over 15, minus 1 over 17. So it seems that the formula for the nth partial sum is uh, 1 third minus now let's figure out the formula for uh, for the remaining terms minus one over now for s7 the index is 13 the first index is 13 right for uh, n equals 6 the first index is 11 so it seems like it should be 2n minus 1 in the denominator let's check for n equals 7 we are going to get 13 for n equals 6 we are going to get 11. Uh, the next one is going to be the next odd number, which is going to be 1 over 2n plus 1 minus the next odd number, which is going to be 1 over 2n plus 3. Now recall that the sum of the series is equal to the limit of the partial sums as n goes to infinity. Now when n goes to infinity, the three terms here go to zero as n goes to infinity. Therefore, the only remaining term will be one third. And this means that the sum of the series is equal to one third. <clears throat> 